Hello children, welcome to Storytime with Dixie and Dixie's Book Club. Finn McCool and the Giant's Causeway. Let's turn the page, chapter one. Long, long ago, there lived in Ireland a mighty giant by the name of Finn McCool. Finn was taller than an oak tree and stronger than a dozen oxen. He was brave and kind, but he was also very proud. I am the greatest giant of them all, he would boast. There is no one who can beat me. Across the sea in Scotland, there lived another giant. This one was called Angus. He was huge and strong with an angry red face and everyone feared him. One day, Angus was told of Finn's boasting. When he heard that Finn thought he was the greatest giant of all, Angus flew into a rage. I am the greatest giant, he roared. I'll teach Finn a lesson. He won't forget. Angus strode angrily to the shore. He looked across at Ireland. Cupping his hands to his mouth, he bellowed. Hey, Finn McCool, come and see what a real giant looks like, you great baby. The breeze carried his words to Finn, and when Finn heard them, his temper rose. Standing on the cliffs of County Antrim, he roared back, All I see is a giant fool. At this, Angus shook with anger. If I could only get across the sea to you, he shouted, I would teach you a lesson you'd never forget. That's easily done, Finn replied. He tore a great rock from the cliffs and hurled it into the waves, the first stone of a giant pathway across the sea. Angus began to do the same. But as the giants drew closer to one another, Finn began to worry. He was getting tired. And Angus did look very big and very strong. So Finn hurried home to his wife, Una. She was not as big or as strong as he was, but she was very clever. He told her all about Angus and the path across the sea. Una sighed, Finn, she said, you're being a big baby. I'm not being a baby, Finn said. Una put a baby's bonnet on his head. You are now, she told him. And she gave him a nightgown and made their bathtub look like a giant cot. Lie down, she told Finn, and leave Angus to me. Soon there came a loud knock on the door. Una opened it. There stood Angus, his face redder and angrier than ever. I've come to see Finn, he growled. Una smiled. Come in, she said. He's out hunting, but he'll be back soon. Are you a friend of Finn's? Una asked. No, snarled Angus. I've come to show him that I'm stronger than he is. Really, said Una, a little fellow like you. Little, said Angus crossly, I'm the biggest giant there is. Una smiled. I don't mean to be rude, she said, but you're hardly bigger than Finn's baby. And she nodded at the cot where Finn lay staring up with wide, nervous eyes. Goo goo, said Finn. Angus looked at the cot. My, he said, what a big baby. Not really, Una said, not when you think how big his daddy is. Now Angus began to worry. If Finn's baby was so big, Finn must be much bigger. Still, he said, Finn may be big, but he can't be as strong as I am. I'm glad to hear it, said Una. I have a job that needs doing. If you're stronger than Finn is, you'll find it easy. I'm sure I will, said Angus. I'm glad to hear it, Una said. I'd like you to turn the house around. Angus said, turn the house around, he said. Why, yes, said Una. Finn always turns the house around at this time of the day. I like the sun to shine in the door. Angus gulped. He went outside and took hold of the house. Then he heaved and heaved and heaved and very slowly he turned the house around. In his cot, Finn felt the house move. He put his thumb in his mouth and sucked it, worrying. Angus must be very strong to do such a thing. At last, Angus finished turning the house. There, he said proudly. Well done, said Una. Finn can do it much faster than that, mind you. Angus's face fell. But that wasn't bad for such a little fellow, Una went on. You must be tired now. Come in and have a snack. Chapter 3 Angus went in and sat down. Una gave him a cake. She had just made it and it was still hot. Try this, she said. Finn likes nothing better than one of these cakes after he's been working hard. Thanks, said Angus, and he took a big bite. But Angus did not know that Una had baked a stone inside the cake. Ow! he yelled. What's wrong? Una asked. I broke my tooth on your cake, Angus howled. Really? 
said Una. You must have very soft teeth. Finn loves these cakes. So does the baby, she added. She gave a cake to Finn, but she was careful to give him a cake without a stone inside. Finn ate it in three big bites. More, he said. Mummy, more. Angus stared. That baby must have very strong teeth, he said. Una smiled. Not really, she said. Not when you think how strong his daddy is. You can feel them if you like. So Angus put his hand in Finn's mouth to feel his teeth, and Finn bit as hard as he could. Angus yelled with pain. Just then Una said, I think I hear Finn coming home. Angus's red face turned pale. If Finn's baby was so strong, Finn must be much stronger. Um, is that the time? He said, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Angus fight daddy, said Finn. Uh, not today, Angus said. Angus fight baby said Finn, and he jumped out of the cot. This was too much for Angus. He turned and ran. Help, he cried. There's a giant baby after me. He ran all the way back to Scotland, tearing up the path so that neither Finn nor the giant baby could follow. And Finn and his clever wife laughed and laughed, knowing that Angus would never again cross the sea to Ireland in search of the mighty Finn McCool. If you ever go to County Antrim, you may see the few rocks that Angus left behind. They are still called the Giant's Causeway, and they are one of the wonders of the world. Hope you enjoyed that story. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can be updated with all new stories. Thank you for listening.